My life before I became a caveman was really quite different. The pressures of modern life mean that most of us have probably dreamt at one time or another of fleeing to the hills. But Angelo Mastro Pietro has made his hermit dream a reality by spending over £160,000 making a house out of a cave. I'm 38 years of old and I'm a caveman. You know, I love a challenge. And I mean, I guess coincidentally, my surname actually means master of the stone. So, you know, maybe it's kind of in my blood. He did most of the work himself. Even more incredible when you consider that only a few years ago, the businessman was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I had a lapse that left me paralysed, essentially, which was really the catalyst to make me review where I was at, where I was going, and obviously my lifestyle. The Rock House kind of came along and, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, I was as passionate about that as I was about setting up my company. The 250 million year old sandstone cliffs near the Wire Forest are said to have inspired Tolkien when he was writing Lord of the Rings. It was here that Angelo spent £62,000 on this 700 year old abandoned cave, which he would turn into his very own hobbit hole. With a renovation budget of £100,000, Angelo set about doing most of the physically demanding work himself. In the end, I spent somewhere around about a thousand hours, basically breaking rock, cutting rock, burrowing rock. You know, it totaled somewhere around about 70 or 80 tonnes of rubble that I excavated out of this rock house by hand. And really proof of that is the whole of the terrace outside. So there's literally a hundred square metres of terrace out there. None of that was there when I started. So that is all of the rubble that I've excavated. The completed rock house's impressive features are anything but Stone Age. It even has Wi-Fi. One of the things that's kind of impressive about the restoration is really what you don't see. We've put ventilation channels in the floor. One of the things that I was quite passionate about doing was trying to retain um, the integrity of the rock house by not cutting in any chasings in to hide wires. This would originally have been the bedroom, these little nooks either side which I've lit up to give the illusion of kind of light channels kind of casting light down. So coming through into the shower rooms we've got underfloor heating in here, one of the biggest kind of engineering feats. This is where I'd excavated this kind of shelf and then subsequently I dug down and created a shower. All of the fresh running water comes from Angelo's own borehole, which he sank 80 metres into the ground. This was originally two separate spaces. So the first task was I excavated this doorway. So to start off at the top and literally cut down, repeat the process so that the whole of the area that you're looking to remove was cut into stripes and then remove the sections of rock um, and just literally repeat, repeat, repeat. 11 days later, it kind of uh, made my way through. Although the cave house was originally built as a holiday let, Angelo still harbours the ambition of one day living full time in his unusual property. Actually, here when you see it in person, you get a feel for the place. I literally had people in tears. You know, I feel incredibly happy, very proud, very honoured. Yeah, it's been a very inspiring chapter, I think. <laughs>